Hey guys, so this is something that I've been wondering ever since the release of Incredibles 2. Will the Underminer ever return? <laughs> One of the things that disappointed me the most about Incredibles 2 was the fact that the Underminer was gone very early on, and it's never explained to us what happened to the Underminer. He was the reason why we wanted to see a sequel to the Incredibles in the first place. Um, if they ever do decide to make Incredibles 3, he has to show up because he is a vital character and actually the one that causes most of the events to occur in Incredibles 2. Think about it. His drill causes the public to shun supers again and it thrusts Elastigirl into being an advocate to get supers legal again. Now there was a clue to the Underminer's whereabouts in the credits of Incredibles 2. You see a silhouette of his mini drill. Um, now Brad Bird has said that he is not ready to do a sequel. He wants to take a vacation, whatever that means. Um, and he said that it might take like a really long time before we see Incredibles 3. Also, Pixar said that they won't be doing any more sequels, only originals. So that kind of defeats the whole hope of a Incredibles 3. So, it's, uh, well then I guess the answer is already said. If there's no Incredibles 3, the Underminer will never return. But, who knows? There is actually a glimmer of hope there. So, there have been articles recently in 2020, at the beginning of 2020, if Soul bombed badly, like Onward bombed, because Onward was a major bomb, then Pixar just might have to go back to doing sequels. Because that's the only way they can make a profit. But if we have to wait another 14 years to get Incredibles 3, then Incredibles 3 has to probably have a different cast. Because Craig T. Nelson's getting very old, so is Holly Hunter. The cast is getting old, and... They better do it fast, if a third is ever going to exist. Um, but, like, I would like to see where they take the character of the Underminer. Maybe he could be, like, the next Thanos, or, like, um, the next Bane. I actually think... Now, a lot of people have been saying that they want an Incredibles trilogy. But I don't think a trilogy is enough to explore the Incredibles world, and give all the characters development, and flesh out the Underminer, and, you know, kind of develop the Underminer's characters and motives. I think there has to be at least four movies in the Incredibles franchise in order to explore all there is to ex be explored. So, that's my thought. What do you guys think? Do you think that Incredibles 3 will ever happen? And do you think that we'll ever see the Underminer again in the Incredibles? I honestly think that the sequel would have been a lot better if they just adapted it from the Incredibles Rise of the Underminer video game that was released in 2005. That would have at least been a much more interesting and epic experience, and it wouldn't be a rehash of the first film. I would have actually been satisfied with that. So guys, if you don't know already, because I've made it blatantly obvious, I don't like Incredibles 2. But we'll just get to that later down the line. See you guys later.